So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 51. Today is June the 22nd, 2023. The topic for this evening is uh, solar plexus. So we are um, revisiting the solar plexus. I remember, I forgot how long ago, at least six months ago, I've talked about the, the solar plexus. However, I'm, I think somebody mentioned in the group mentioned to, to um, activate the, to, to do more things on activating the Kundalini. So this is, so the, these couple of weeks, I've been just going through each of the different chakra within the, our energy system so that we can really clear out any um, things that's, any emotions, energy stuck there as much as we can as a group. And, um, and, so when we clear each of the center, then it actually allows the, the whole Kundalini as a whole to become stronger and um, more vibrant. So today is about solar plexus. And before we go any further, I just want to do a short meditation, a presence meditation. So let's begin. Let's begin by simply taking in a deep breath through your nose, just breathe in as much as you can, slowly. And when you can breathe in no more, just start to breathe out, let it all go. And we'll do a few more of this just to smooth out our breathing. So breathe in deeply again. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in deeply through your nose. And then slowly breathe out. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath. Use your breath. Your breathing, your breath is always with you, as long as you're alive anyways. So use your breath. Just focus on your breath as though you will forget how to breathe if you don't focus on it. And just breathe in and out. Until you start to feel your body becoming more relaxed. When you start to elongate your breath, you are sending a signal to your body that you're safe. That is okay to relax. And when you feel your body become more relaxed, then start to imagine that with every breath that you breathe in, you are calling in, you're calling back all of your own energies. We work, we do things for the people in our lives, take care of the, the, the house, take care of our own belongings. So we do a lot of things and we send our attention out, outwards during the day. In this moment, just call back all of your attention, all of your energies, to yourself. No need to think of anything else, anyone else. Just be with yourself today in this moment. Call back all of your energy. Call back all of your attention. 
just focus on yourself. Focus on this moment. Focus on what's going on in your body. Focus on being with yourself, with your body, with your thoughts. Just focus on this moment. Feel, don't try to think anything. Just feel what you feel like in this moment. We are eternal spirit here to experience what it is to be human. So experience. What it is for you to experience in this moment. And when you are able to just feel and experience and focus on yourself in this moment, feel the difference. Feel how powerful you actually are in this moment. Because in this moment, you have all of your energy, all of your attention. And when you truly feel that, You are here, present for yourself, present to what you're experiencing in this moment. When you feel that, really, really feel that, then take a deep breath in And come all the way back into the room and open your eyes if you haven't already. So welcome back, everybody. We are going to talk about the solar plexus. So let me just grab my, uh, my notes. Okay, so solar plexus. Actually, let me uh, do a share screen. So the so solar plexus. Why is this this energy center? Why is the this um, called a plexus? Because the sacral chakra, the root chakra, heart chakra, all of them a simpler name, but this third chakra is called the sol solar plexus. The word plexus actually is about a, there's a meaning to the word plexus. It means it's a convergence of energy. So then the solar plexus is a location in our body where um, there's a lot of nerve endings meet in one place. So it's very special place within our body that makes this part, this part of our body becoming like, uh, it's really sensitive. 
And that's what the this that's why this energy center is called the solar plexus. So from the uh, like in our body, it is about the solar plexus is two inches above the belly button, and it is close to the spine. And um, so it's in between stomach and your chest. And so the solar plexus is set to correspond with the feelings of fear, anxiety, introversion, personal power, opinion, formulation, formation, and spiritual growth as well. And it is also where our entity or earth soul resides. So I just want to um, maybe just for people who are not familiar with, with the term entity or earth soul is that we, when we say our soul, it's actually there are different elements of our soul. There is a part of us that is eternal and that is always there and has always been there and always will be there. And our soul, a part of our soul it goes from um, one planet to another, from one playground to another, depending on what it is that our soul wants to experience. However, each time we go to a particular playground, the playground itself actually has a consciousness and that is the consciousness of that playground and that the consciousness of the playground also have an uh, agenda of its own. So then we have this cosmic part of our soul and then the there is one that is the, the planet spirit. And those two consciousness kind of work together when the soul, when our cosmic soul comes into this body, because this body is something that is from earth, from this playground that we are on. It, it draws energy from the earth. So when I have another life, have another experience in a different um, incarnation, then in, as long as I am on earth, I will have another body that is supplied by earth. But if I go to a different planet, then that planet or that playground will supply the, the vessel, which is the, the, the body that experiences what playing on that playground feels like. So that's what the entity actually is. The entity is the, the individualized part of um, the earth um, consciousness that each living being, like me, like you, and we each take on some of that and individualized portion of that earth's consciousness so and that entity that um earth soul the the part of our soul that belongs to earth specifically is in like resides in the solar plexus so which means that when we are um when our solar plexus is clear, we actually would be able to connect with everyone else that also has that Earth's consciousness in them. Because consciousness is, yes, we have an individualized version of that consciousness. However, that individualized packet of consciousness of Earth is also connected to every other consciousness of Earth. So through your solar plexus, when your solar plexus is actually clear, you actually have access to everyone else that is also on earth. We, um, we may not have access to them consciously, but on a 
unconscious level, we are connected with them. Because that's where the um, energetically, that's where that earth consciousness is connected to this vessel is through our solar plexus. So you can see how important the solar plexus is. And that's why a lot of the, the times when we, um, we, we would say that we have this gut feeling that, you know, I know, for, for example, I know that this is going to work, or I know that that person um, is not a good person, or I know something. That's the gut feeling, and that actually is a part of us being able to have access to those extra information that our conscious mind does not have access to. We can access that through our solar plexus. As long as our solar plexus is clear and does not have a lot of uh, interference or stuck energies in them. So that's why the solar plexus is so important. It's just um, our connection to the human collective. So it's really important to make sure that this energy center is clean and clear and vibrant. Of course, it's very important for all the, the, the different centers to be clean, clear, and vibrant. And, and that's why we are working through each one of them to make sure that the root chakra is pulling in energy and connecting us to earth. And then our second chakra is connecting us with our um, close loved ones, love relationship. The third chakra is really a social chakra because it connects us with everyone else that's also on earth. So that really is the um, part of what the solar plexus is. And there's also more to what the, the, the solar plexus can do. Um, so in terms of element, the, the solar plexus is fire element. And the, the sacral is a water element. The, 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 the solar plexus, the element is a fire element. And the main issues that solar plexus is about is really about will. It's about power. It's about um, who we are in the backdrop of everyone else. Everyone else, meaning the the other, um, the human, the rest of the human collective. So it's about will, willpower. It's about who we are. Self control, vitality, purpose, direction. When we have um, so some of the mental symptoms that let us know that we uh, have an imbalanced solar plexus is if we have uh, a weak will or if we don't have very good self-esteem then you know that there is some um, deficiency in our solar plexus or if there is excess energy within our solar plexus then it may manifest um, as being a very dominating person aggressive person and we are uh, or of course people who like to be always on the go 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 all the time and always thinking. So those are all more of the, the excessive symptoms. So in terms of mental symptoms, now physical symptoms, the, some of the physical symptoms that tells you that you have an imbalanced um, solar plexus because it is about, um, it's around the stomach area. So any digestive system disorders, um, let's say eating disorder, um, things like diabetes, then those are symptoms of an, a physical symptom of imbalance. So anything with about the um, pancreas, gallbladder issues, those are 
physical manifestation of um, imbalance in the solar plexus. Okay, so let me just take a look. What else? Um, so, I just want to send that. Okay, so I've talked about the mental symptoms um, and the physical ones. Now I want to talk more about the more spiritual and, and uh, esoteric, I would say, um, things about the solar plexus. It is, the solar plexus is where we, um, it's about cause and effect because we have willpower. So we do things, <clears throat> we cause things to happen. And so when we do things, then there are results. So it's about cause and effect as well. And also, um, why is it, why this, the solar plexus is about power? It's because we as an eternal essence, we as eternal spirit is limitless. We are limitless. We can do anything that we want. However, when we come to play on, a, uh, a certain, uh, on this playground, we take on certain limitations so that, because uh, if we are all powerful, God like coming to, to earth, it's very hard to actually have a human experience. So that's why before we come, we actually um, on a soul level agreed to limit our own abilities so that we can have an experience of what being a human being really is like to be a um, somebody who um, forgot that we are actually eternal essence. So those are the limitations that we put on ourselves at a soul level. And also when we come to earth, we are also influenced by the earth collective itself, other human beings. They may come with different limitations. So when we have our own limitations and we come to earth, we, and on, sometimes we may unconsciously take on limitations that's really not our own making. It's not something that we um, wanted to take on. We may want to, let's say from our parents, our parents, they come here with their own With, with um, their own agenda of what they want to experience and also, um, also their own set of limitations. And because we are in the same family with them growing up under their, um, their care, sometimes we may take on their limitations, even though it may not be compatible with what we are here to do. So part of um, clearing our solar plexus is also to get clear on what it is that we are here to experience and to let go of taking on other people's limitations. And this is, I think, part of the, the, the things that in this moment we are most needing to clear out because we've gone through so many thousands of years of conditioning. And now that we are, I would say, taking on a completely different kind of playing on earth. That's why clearing the solar plexus is so important now so that we can actually get back to our own original purpose of why we want to be on earth. Because, you know, <laughs> we, I don't know if you've noticed, it's not always easy <clears throat> to be here on earth. 
in this moment. Not always easy. There are good days and then there are bad days, definitely. So if we actually let go of some of the um, extra baggage, then it may make it just slightly more comfortable and easy for us to enjoy life on earth because that's I believe that's why we're here we're not here to suffer we are actually here to enjoy life and if you're not enjoying life then you really need to ask yourself some odd questions why you are not enjoying life you may have taken on more limitations than you actually needed to. So I just want to check, have I covered everything? It's a, the, I think the, my plan is not to talk too much. It's actually to do more clearing rather than more talking. So I think I've covered all the major points. So just want to open up and ask any questions, comments so far before I, I go on to um, do the clearing. Thank you for doing this. This is so important, this, this particular chakra, chakra clearing. Yes. Very. In my opinion or in my experience. <laughs> it, it is. It is very much. Thank you for your comment. I I look like I I taken too much on my plate. <laughs> 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 so now I'm glad I'm going to clear all that. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I add on more and more and more and I just it's good. It was very profound to hear over and over certain things. It's it's nice. A reminder is always good and he, he provides me a different message today yes we talk about a solar plex but today i find like it's more deeper and it just yeah i got quite a bit okay thank behind you. Yeah. behind the scene what what it is and how i how i got um, baggages from my parents or the society or here and they take more and more and more you gave me the clear picture. Thank you. You're welcome. And the physical side effects, like physical mm -hmm. manifestation, it's very important mm -hmm. to recognize that that's what's happening. Yep, definitely. Thank you for your comments. Anyone else? So in order to do better, we just keep repeating your uh, meditation, I believe, for this particular chakra. That would be the cure. Um, at first, sure. I think, um, and also notice as well, um, what, notice what is specific for you as well, because I I try to, to include everybody. I try to um, really go for everyone, but um, there, there are some things that you know yourself more. So then um, when you notice something that is related to the, well, solar plexus, but any other chakra as well, when you notice that, then I actually, highly suggest that you write it down so that next time when you get a chance is to clear those when you do um, any kind of uh, clearing meditation as well yes um, so during any other meditation i can clear this physical side effects if i pay attention if i put that as part of my intention yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially when we are in a group, because um, I'm not saying that, you know, it's pointless to do clearing on your own. It absolutely helps. However, when we are in a group, usually the energies are more um, stronger. That's what I feel when, when we do group clearing. 
because we are, that's how energy works is when a group of people coming together with a similar intention, it actually um, like multiplies the effectiveness of what you're doing. So especially when we're in a group setting, then yes, definitely. Okay, no more. In that case.